All right, everyone, what's going on? Uh, your boy Juan Valdez here with another video, and I got my boy Steven uh, in the house. This guy right here is an absolute savage. savage. Some of you guys may have actually seen him. Uh, he's been on Ty Lopez's, you know, his credit course. He's pretty much teaching everybody how he was able to scale and built his credit to $3 million in credit and over 220 credit cards. So this guy right here knows a thing or two about credit. Yeah, I personally have spent some time learning about credit, but I definitely don't know as much as this guy does. That's that's like his area of domination. So uh, we're making this quick video. We're actually on this jet right now. Just can't really see out here. He actually brought me on here. We're on a citation. What is it? Citation? The citation. Citation 12, is that what it's called? CJ2. CJ2. This guy, Steven, all he does is fly on private jets all the time, man. So I wanted to take a second. Me and Steven were just talking about different things, about e-commerce, how it all works. Um, and we were talking a little about credit. And we figured we'd take some time to just record this video. So he asked me uh, pretty important questions that just that he personally wanted to know about. And it was, you know, what are three things for anyone just getting started in e-commerce and dropshipping, you know, that I would recommend for any, like, beginner. And so I'll do the first thing is... Um, I made a video on this before, but one thing you want to make sure that you know you do is when you first get started with selling products online, you're not starting off trying to sell things that you like. That's like game changer because for me, well, I tell everybody the story. When I first got started, I started off trying to sell. So I'm into fitness. I like working out. My thought process was, all right, since I'm into fitness and I like working out, why not sell fitness-related accessories, right? So literally what I did is my first store, I actually went and started selling so barbell bracelets and barbell um, necklaces. That was my first, like the first thing that I wanted to start selling. So I figured, I like these neck, these um, bracelets and uh, these necklaces. I figured other fitness people would also like them as well. So I, re I immediately put together my store based on fitness products, and that honestly went to a bust. Like we didn't get uh, any sales on that. That didn't work at all. So that was one of the biggest mistakes I made. So I would say when anyone first getting started, don't really focus on. Uh, the things that you like and you're interested in that you would personally buy, focus more on products that are already selling and that other people are already interested in. Anyone just getting started, product research is huge. When it comes down to e-commerce and drop shipping and selling products online, the name of the game is to consistently find the hot and trending products you know, that you can sell. And obviously, once you start generating some sales, you can then scale the product up to sell as much as you want. You want to make sure you're spending a good amount of time doing product research because if you do the right product research, you can usually find out what products are selling really well before you even start selling them yourself. So that saves you money on advertising, saves you time and time, trial and error with you know marketing and advertising. It saves you time and honestly just saves you effort. It's a shortcut. You know, if you do product research ahead of time, it'll just save you a ton of time and you're more likely to have some success and results. And for the third thing, something I can go home today and immediately start doing. Something you can do right now pretty much jump started. I would start off with like definitely free YouTube content to kind of learn the basics, but usually to get like the more advanced stuff, like the stuff that's gonna teach you like the exact things you wanna do, you're probably gonna wanna get like higher level training. Start off testing uh, with the smallest budget as possible. You wanna start being able to get numbers and data back as cheaply as possible. So for example, what you could do is pretty much just getting started, you know, you can take the time to set up a store, after you set up a store, you know, do some product research for sure, obviously, like you have to do that. And then test, you know, start with really cheap with like Instagram influencer shout outs. You can usually get like you know, influencer shout outs. Nowadays, like as cheap as like, I've seen some and I've actually ran some for as cheap as $25. So you could actually do the same. You know, you want to start testing your product, you know, with as minimal, as minimal of a budget as possible. If you can test a product for $25 and find out if, you know, like if, it, if it's a good product or not, you know, I do that because again, you don't want to spend, obviously you don't want to spend obviously on any budget that you have. Steven has a huge budget, but anyone just getting started might not have as big as budget. So you don't want to spend as much to find out if a product is good or not. You want to try to find out if that product is going to, you know, how it's going to sell and the feedback you can get from people that are interested in it with as least spent as possible. So I'd recommend, you know, if you're going to try Facebook ads, cool. Obviously you have to learn it first, but I'd recommend you start up with like a small budget, like five to $10 to get data. Because you can usually get a good amount of data with five or ten dollars. You can start seeing, just like how you were talking about earlier, you were telling me how they, they test to see how many clicks it gets. Yeah. So same thing, you can test it, see how many clicks it gets, see what kind of engagement the product is getting and what kind of reactions getting from your target audience. And then from there, you, know, you can scale up. But again, you want to test with as small budget as possible because you want to 
allocate your budget for products that are gonna end up doing really well because I was actually telling Steven when I first got started with e-commerce and drop shipping, only me, my business partner, Samir, we only had about two thousand dollars available to test uh, that we had to experiment with e-commerce with. So when we were when we were scaling, you know, we would have days where we didn't have much of a budget to keep scaling just because we had no more than two thousand dollars. So obviously, if we had more available, we would be able to scale more. So you don't want to spend your budget on a product that would is, doesn't end up being worth it. You want to save your budget for products that you know end up being really worth it. So uh, he already runs his businesses as a startup. Is working on a cool, pretty uh, cool app and does his his whole ninja credit hacking. Um, and he also wants to learn about e-commerce. So I figured obviously I have some expertise in it, so I'd help him out. In exchange, he's actually going to be helping me out with credit and teach me some of his ninja tricks. So what I wanted to do for you guys is just have him come on here and just share three things for anyone just getting started with credit. Three of the most important things that you would say for anyone just getting started, how to how to get started, how to build it, and potentially how they can fly fly for free. Because right now, uh, Stephen actually gets to fly all the time on like jets like these, and pretty much anywhere else, usually for free all the time, just because he's mastered the credit game. So, what would you say for anyone just getting started with credit? Uh, the first thing you want to do definitely is build a relationship with your bank because most of you guys think it's just apply for a credit card and that's it. You want to find somebody in the underwriting department and get an actual name that you can work with. Okay. And uh, so this goes on to the second tip is you want to open your first five credit cards with Chase. Um, first five credit cards with Chase, open that through travel awards. Um, if you want to get free, if you want to get free flights, that's how you want those first five cards because there's a rule that says after those first five cards you can't get any more. Unless you don't apply for any paperwork in two years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then the third step, what you want to do is you want to do something called manufacturing spending. So if you guys don't have a lot of money to like flow right now, you can actually buy. You can actually spend the amount of money that's on there without actually spending that from your bank. You can buy some certain gift cards. You can buy money orders and then take that money and recycle it and pay off your credit card bill without ever actually spending the money. You can keep the sign of those. So there's three little quick tips that you guys can immediately take in. And if you just get those five Chase credit cards, Chase Freedom, Freedom Unlimited, Sapphire, Sapphire Reserve, some of those cards, you can immediately take at least five vacations from that. Like that. Really? Yeah, within your first couple months. Wow. That is huge. That is huge. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. So I'm planning, I'm personally going to be following some of the things that Steven's sharing. And, you know, we are planning on putting it together. We do see the value behind you know, obviously we've built the credit, the importance of credit. Again, I built my e-commerce business with the help of credit. And I've been traveling for this past year, not as much as Steven, but I traveled pretty much the whole year, you know, for free, just because I was able to leverage credit myself. So me and Steven actually planning on putting together, you know, somewhat of a credit class, I would say, or just dropping some free value for you guys, uh, where you can kind of learn from. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate you sharing all the value. And, uh, you know, stay tuned. I'm actually gonna be recording a lot more credit videos and you know, hopefully I'll have them on there to show you a lot more strategies that you can implement to build your credit as well. So if you haven't already, if you got any value from this video, leave me a thumbs up, you know, leave me some comments and feedback about what you think about, you know, some of the things about e-commerce they went over, some of the strategies that, you know, Steven shared with you guys for credit. And, you know, let me know what you think about them. if you tried them out, if they worked for you. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Peace, see you guys in the next video.